Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and today I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to stretch out your twist out or braid out in less than five minutes. In my previous videos, at least two of them, I've mentioned that I like to have the elongated look when I do my twist outs or my braid outs, and um, I don't always have time to plan for that. I don't always want to do a twist out or braid out on bull dried hair, but I do like it to be a little bit elongated. I like to have a little bit of movement. And um, this is kind of like my go-to technique for when I don't have much time and I'm kind of on the go and I need to quickly leave and get my hair done. So I'm going to show you guys today how I do that. And um, this is a technique that you can actually apply to any braid out or twist out routine that you are already doing. So I'm not going to put that much emphasis on the actual braiding technique and the, the whole process the day before. I'm going to just show you guys what I do at the point in which I take my braids down. If you'd like to learn more about how I do my braid outs and the products and things that I use, then please check the description box. Um, but I won't be going into detail in this video. So if you'd like to see how I get this elongated twist out braid out look in less than five minutes, then I would suggest you stay tuned. So I'm gonna start off with braids that I had done the night before on wet detangled hair. For more definition, I usually braid the hair in no less than 10 sections. This technique works best on hair that is completely dry. As you can see, I'm experiencing some serious shrinkage. For this technique, I'm going to use a heat protectant called the Sidhu Anti-Frizz Polishing Treatment. You're also going to need a blow dryer. Any blow dryer will do for this technique as long as it does not have the comb attached. You'll want to start by taking each braid down one at a time. Work slowly and take your time. You don't want to disrupt that curl pattern. Each braid should have three defined chunks of hair. If you choose to use this technique on a twist out, then it'll only be two chunks of hair. I love this technique because it's easy to preserve at night while I sleep. Just simply braid the hair back into the sections. For best results, do not separate the sections of hair. Leave them as chunky as you can. Once you've taken all the braids down, you'll notice that the hair is very, very shrunken and yet defined. Some of you will choose to stop here and rock your hair like this for the day. But for the rest of us, let's go ahead and prep the hair for the blow dryer. Even though we're using low heat, it's important to use a heat protectant. Distribute a small amount throughout the hair. The most important place to apply this heat protectant is to the shaft of the hair. I like to take a few minutes to make sure that the heat protectant is evenly distributed so that I don't have sections of hair oversaturated with product. Be sure to utilize the warm setting on your blow dryer. There may also be a cooling trigger which is also very helpful. Test out the heat on your hand. What's too hot for your hand is probably too hot for your hair. Once the temperature is just right, I like to go ahead and apply the blow dryer to the shaft of the hair. Also focusing at the roots to add volume. With this technique, you don't want to stretch the hair too much because you want to maintain that curl pattern. You can already tell the difference. Once you're done, you'll notice that the hair has nearly doubled in volume. If done correctly, you'll notice that the curl definition is still intact. The purpose 
of this technique is to add a little length and movement, but not to take away the bounce. With this stretching technique, the hairstyles are endless. Feel free to get as creative as you want and take advantage of this length, body, and movement. So remember, this is a quick last minute technique that can be used as an alternative to stretching the hair over time. I hope that this was helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Okay.